What's up guys, it's your local Realized Man checking in once again and today I'm going to do a kind of an extensive walkthrough or guide of reading or how I approach reading and this video is inspired by my boy Philip with his similar video but I'm going to do my take on it and give you guys some jewels and some ideas on how you can read more and get the most out of your reading. So first things first, what, what should you read? Personally, um, I don't read a lot of fiction, right? Now, there's nothing wrong with fiction. Fiction can enhance your creativity. It can, you know, uh, make you think about certain ideas you perhaps wouldn't think of normally. It definitely has its place. But the way I see fiction in regards to me is that it's more of a entertainment type medium. And if I need entertainment, a better fix for me that's less time consuming is just to watch TV shows. So I used to read the Game of Thrones books. And of course, the fiction books themselves have a lot more depth than the TV series, but in terms of um, time investment and benefit, I'd rather just watch a TV show or watch a movie. So I read to get tools. I read to get utilities that are gonna help me in my life, right? I read because I wanna get from point A to B. And there's certain knowledge I don't know and reading is a way to get that. That's all, that's the only reason I read. So that's why I focus primarily on nonfiction. And when I start out reading, when I start getting into the habit of it, I used to read a book a week or sometimes two books every week just to kind of get into the flow of it. And that took about three weeks to get into, but once you're in the flow, it's a lot easier than what you think, what you expect, because I used to be a type of person I used to read maybe one book every year that was prescribed to us at university or in high school. But so you have to put that initial energy to overcome the inertia at the beginning. But once you get the ball going, you're going to get that knowledge. These days I don't read as much, but I still get it in, given um, using some of these tools I'm going to give you guys. OK, so what type of books do I read or what type of uh, medium? Well, there's basically real books like this hot books there's audio books and there's epubs so i'm gonna get into the positives and benefits of each one real books like this the reason i have these to be honest with you is because they just look nice there's something about having a physical book in your hand that makes the experience just a whole lot better especially when you have a coffee there and you're just sitting down you can see the book and and plus they look cool as fuck like who doesn't want their own library right the physical books are great i love physical books because yeah sometimes i actually just buy um a book i've already read on epub i buy the physical version just because i like to look at the book sometimes i know it's ridiculous but it's something i do so physical books, they have their benefits. Uh, the disadvantages, you can't read at nighttime with these unless you have a lamp or some sort of one of those book light reader things. So, but the good thing is you can give it to a friend. You can give it to a friend and it's good. It's a good gift. Something that's, you know, tangible, you can touch. Okay, EPUB. Uh, these are great. See, I use iBooks on my iPad and Kindle as well. There you go. So the good, the benefit of this is you can get a shit ton of books just on one device. Like I got a few, like a hundred books I've gone through just on EPUB and you can adjust the brightness. You can read at nighttime, change the layout. You can bookmark things. It's excellent. But once again, you don't get the same feel as actually having the physical book, or at least I don't. And then the third type of book that I like is audiobooks. Now these are great because they allow you to do to get your reading in while you're doing other things the problem with audiobooks is sometimes um, certain books require you to look at diagrams and audiobooks obviously don't have diagrams because you're listening so there's benefits to all of them the best approach is to use every single method if you really want to get the most out of your reading now Initially, when I started reading, I used to read all sorts of things, biographies, philosophy, and stuff like that. But what I advise is as you get more used to your reading, you should learn to uh, focus down on certain areas and immerse yourself in them, especially when you're trying to 
get better at something. So perhaps if you're trying to learn body language, you should um, buy five different books on body language and just read those. If you're trying to learn online marketing, you should buy some books on SEO, or some books on um, copywriting and stuff like that and just read those. If you're trying to learn about strength training, you should buy the top five strength training books and just read those. What that does is it immerses you with the knowledge and you get different perspectives from different authors and you can really start putting the pieces together. Now, right now I'm in the process of creating an online course, right? on um, peak performance, on how you can overcome your reptilian monkey brain and get to be on your side in this day and age, in this modern world. So I've been getting a bunch of books in regards to thinking, in regards to the brain, how the brain works, NLP, Power of the Subconscious Mind, The Art of Thinking Clearly, a book on cognitive biases, The Organized Mind, some stuff done by neuroscientists, cognitive behavior therapy. You see, you have to really immerse yourself and that's how you get the best perspective. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm no longer just reading philosophy for the sake of reading philosophy. I'm not reading biographies for the sake of reading biographies. I'm reading things that are going to help me get the specified knowledge I need at certain times. And certain knowledge you can't get from books that you buy the stores like, uh, if you go to a bookshop, for for example, it's going to be really hard for you to find a book on, you know, C++ coding or copywriting. Or it, they tend to be more generic uh, type of books. So, if you want to get specific knowledge, I recommend you look up on the iBook store on Apple or you look up on the Kindle store. On the Kindle store, there's a whole bunch of books that are like a dollar each that people have written that really niche down on certain ideas and they're very beneficial. You can just collect about 10 of those at one time, just go through it and you'd be amazed at how much value you can get from one of those books. It's like a dollar, it's crazy. Um, and the last thing I wanna talk about is audiobooks, right? Audiobooks, I love audiobooks. Uh, audiobooks are great because they allow you to read while you're on the bus going to work or driving going to work they allow you to absorb information while you're cleaning dishes maybe when you're even on the toilet taking a shit there's a lot of time that's wasted throughout the day that you can really uh utilize to uh get the most out of your learning and audiobooks are really great what i use for audiobooks is um audible i'll probably put a link in the description so you guys can check that out. It's going to be like a free trial for one month and then there's a recurring monthly payment. And what happens is you can um, swap books and stuff like that and all that good shit. But I personally don't use the recurring payment. I just buy books straight up because I don't like recurring payments. The link is going to be affiliate link, by the way. I don't give a fuck. I tell my subscribers when things are affiliated, but I actually use this service, as you can see. That's Audible right there. I'm not sure if the camera can see that. I've actually got a whole bunch of books there that you can check out. So, I actually use this so I don't have any problem putting the link down there. So, what I do with audiobooks is whenever I'm going to uni, for example, uh, I have to catch a bus there and it's like an hour ride. I just plug my headphones in, put the speed of the book to like 1.5, and I just smash through it. And you literally can finish a book within like two, three days does get costly but remember the best investment is an investment in your education so it doesn't matter the average cost of an audiobook is about 30 bucks for about eight hours and yeah you can really get that acquired knowledge anyway guys i hope that helped you in your reading go out there and read that shit baby until next time peace like comment subscribe and all that good stuff I'm gonna show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe, and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bam, boom. That's it, and you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it. Just do it.